Airbag. These things are pretty heavy guys, so make sure you don't drop it. Here, catch. Take this. Hello! Um, we've decided to extend the phone giveaway. There's only 40 people who've entered, so if you want to win a completely rubbish phone... It's broken. It's broken. Just some, full disclosure. For some reason, people still think that it's a perfectly fine phone because they're like, man, that's a steal. But no, it is busted no, up. it's busted up. You could maybe repair it. Yeah, it'll cost you quite a lot of money though. So we're looking to give it to... It's more of an antique. Yeah, that's right. We're looking to give it to one of you guys um, just as our 1,000 subscriber, I don't know, special thing, which was quite a while ago, but... Yeah, 300, 300 subs late. Yeah. Um, but yes, only 40 people have entered. So look, if you want a good chance in winning a phone, put your name down. We just need your name, phone number, email address... And, and then a reason. A reason why you want it, um, which doesn't affect the eligibility, but we just want to read it and we can have a read through them when we do the giveaway. So, yeah, links below. This week's video, we're going to be removing this bad boy. Now, we did it quite a while ago off camera, um, but yeah, we, we, we messed, need to do it again. We messed that part up. Do that again, Dante, please. So we, did didn't, we didn't screw that baby in. Yeah, so we need to take it all off and we're going to show you guys how to do it because if you were wondering how to do it, we will show you. Yeah, we're basically turning into a tutorial video, well, channel. Hopefully not, but yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing at the moment. Taking this bad boy off. So step one, um, well, before step one. Grab your trusty toolbox. You need a flathead, a Phillips head, and a 10 mil. And we'll show you why. All right, guys, so full disclosure, we have no idea what we're doing, but this book does. So we're going to go by this book. Now, if you've got the book on chapter 10, page... Well, it's actually on 12. So on page 12, it tells you how to remove your steering wheel. So step one, disconnect the battery. And that's what we need our 10 mil for. So let's get, a, get into it. All right, guys, first things first, what do we got to do? We've got to pop that hood, don't we? Yep, to get to the battery. Oh, geez, they'll know what we're on about. All right, um, just disconnect the battery terminals real quick. Nanny. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so it is, why'd you bend, why'd you bend down to my hands? <laughs> uh, the battery is actually right behind here, so you'll see in a bit. Now this is ute specific. If you've got the sedan, your battery's gonna be in the boot. But Fair, we found out why, because one of you's commented, um, it's, because we, we were like, uh, well, we, we were ripping into it, we were making fun of it, but, it's actually for the 50-50 weight ratio of the actual car. Yeah. yeah, weight distribution. Yeah. So, we were shit talking it, but now we're actually like, oh, that's quite handy. But yeah. it's still a it's pain in the ass. It's not handy in the ute. Handy in the sedan. Yeah, handy in the sedan. Anyway, let's get into it. 10 mil, take them off. Now, which one first again? All right, so we are reading the book and the book is telling us to disconnect the negative. Negative first, everyone. Uh, I always get tripped up on that. Uh, we're going to disconnect the positive as well, just to be safe. All right, Dante, so what do we have to do now? Yes, now this isn't in the book, um, but we're just going to do it. Last time that we did it, we found that we had to do it to make it easier. So we're going to show you what we did. So Roast us removing... in the comments if we're completely wrong and this just adds more time. Yes, um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing this bit, this bit, and the lining around our um, cluster. Gauges. Yeah. Gauges, yep. So essentially you just need a little bit of a one of these things. A little, <laughs> little one of these things, yep. And then good enough to just pull out like that. And there we go. Now for the bit around the steering wheel, all you have to do... Pull that baby down. Forgot to move the one out of the side. Don't do that that order. Oh yes, remove... Side one, which you might not be able to see. Right here, arms. this oh, side no. panel. Yep. And all you have to do is pop her off. Side panel has been removed. Now for this part, so it's as simple as pulling it down. It will sound like you're breaking it. Trust me, you're not. You there might, is. Might break some clips. Just be gentle. There's a little cable here, which goes into your light controls. All you need to do on the side, just press a little lever in and pops out. There we go. All right, so it's off. There are, 
what, eight pins? Eight yep. pins that you need to make sure you've got, and um, when you pull it off, make sure the little white bits are still on it because yeah, you don't want to lose them. That's essential to keeping it clicked in. So, yeah. So we've removed that. What we're going to be doing next is we're going to be removing this bit here. So, this bit, and then we'll see if we can get behind to get the airbag out. Now, the reason we're removing it all is because to get the airbag out, there's actually little clips where we'll show you in a little bit. There's clips behind the steering wheel, and to get enough space to get to those clips, we need to remove this. So, well, you probably could do it. It's just that we don't have a short enough uh, screwdriver to really get in to behind get into there. It. Yeah. So we found out that taking that off is just easy to fit it in. While Dante's away getting something, I'll just tell you how to take it off. If you can see, there's just those three little screws. There's what they're Phillipses. Just take that off and pull. All right guys, so Alex just told you about the three screws up the top, but we've got to make sure we mention um, there's a screw in here. If I can get it. And then there's also just one on the other side. And you also want to, so this little leather bit here, just to get it unhooked, you essentially just use the flathead and you pop down two little clips there and you can just push it back on there. There's one, and there you go. So then that makes removing that other bit easier. All right guys, so now we've got all the screws out. We've got our little leather bit un or disconnected. What you wanna do, pull down from the back and it simply pops off. And there we are. Now, now we can turn our steering wheel clockwise, 90 degrees. Oh, either or, you have to do it both ways. Yeah, and remove the airbag. Now guys, before we take the airbag off, we want to show you something that Commodore engineers actually, um, well, designed pretty well. And it's this little bit here. Now, yes, you'd think it's an oh shit handle, which, you know, it partially is, but it's also a great place for your screws, and so is the drink holder, by the way. Um, we won't talk about those ones. Anyway, yeah, that's where we've put the screws. It's a good place to, you know, you've got your screws from there, you've put them in there, you know exactly where they are, so that when you go to put it back on, you just go, oh, yep, I've got five screws, I need to put them in five places. All right, guys, so to get the airbag off, it's a little bit difficult. What you've got to do, so we've got Commodore steering wheel example right here. Turn your steering wheel 90 degrees to the right or the left first, doesn't really matter. You're going to have to do it both sides. So why do we do that? Because behind the steering wheel, we need to access this little black bit here. So how are we going to unclip it? You put a flat head, in, flat head in, and you just pry it up. And it will make a clicking sound when you've got it up. Um, and you can just pull the airbag forwards and it'll just pop off. Once you do both. Yeah. But be very careful. So we'll show you how to do that now. All right, guys. So to get the airbag off, it's a little bit difficult. What you've got to do, so we've got Commodore steering wheel example right here. Turn your steering wheel 90 degrees to the right or the left first. Doesn't really matter. You're going to have to do it both sides. So why do we do that? Because behind the steering wheel, we need to access this little black bit here. So how are we going to unclip it? You put a flat head, in, flat head in, and you just pry it up. And it will make a clicking sound when you've got it up. Um, and you can just pull the airbag forwards and it'll just pop off. Um, guys, while Dante's doing this, a little safety precaution we uh, figured out. We just you sit on the very edge of the seat. This is because, well, you've got an airbag and you, you obviously don't want it to go boom in your face. It doesn't have electricity, we've, took enough, we've taken off the battery, so theoretically it should never ever it go off, but we, we're just little pussy boys, Yes. and we don't want to take the risk. All right guys, so um, after a bit of messing around, we've... What, 20 minutes of trying to do it? Yeah, we worked out and we'd remember that we actually removed this panel on top of the steering wheel so that we can get enough leverage. So, just to show you again, because I now, I now can show you properly. What you need to do is you need to get enough leverage to pull back so that you can get underneath and put your screwdriver, your flathead against that piece of metal to pop it out. So it'll eventually stay there. There we go. So that's popped, which means that then we can remove that side of the airbag. Really doesn't like me, does it? I think we've bent this, the screwdriver. Hallelujah! So, little screwdriver for the first one, big one for the last one, because you need a bit more force to pop that last one off. So, moment of truth, once again handling it 
Got very carefully. Lead. There are cables in the back you, that you need to be aware of to get them out. So to remove these things, as you'll see, there's a little thing. It's just pinch. You just got to pinch it. Pinch it really hard, and there's, there's one, one last thing here. There we go. There is an airbag. Do not drop this. I can't stress it enough. Don't drop it. Place it somewhere where you know that it's not going to get bumped. Anything like that. Don't fondle it any more than you need to. No, they're expensive if you're wanting, if you're needing to replace one because it needs to be certified to replace it. Um, so yes, you need to put it on a bench and leave it. Do not touch it. Don't let the dog get it. Even don't let cover anyone. It up, no yeah. dust. No nothing. Nothing. You don't want no airbag failing on you. Yes. Now let's take let's take this. Also, off. legally, do not do what we're doing. Yes. Don't do what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing. We sh probably shouldn't be holding it. Uh, yeah. Do not try this at home. Yep. And also, when removing the steering wheel, make sure it's going on the same way that it was coming off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have retrieved the the tools, or the tool, because we're only going to use one. It's the size T50, whatever that means. The big one. The biggest one. And you just... Like it in there. And twist it, twist, twist. Now, just be aware, this is going to be very, very tight, and you want to keep it back on. When you put it back on, you want it to be just as tight. All right, so I got this baby off. She's a bit, well, thicky, because, well, you'd hope it's thicky. Put that in the little beautiful compartment. You gotta take this little thing off. Just pinch about there, comes off. And then, also make sure you take off the steering wheel straight. So as in, your wheels are straight, your wheels and tires. Gently push all that shit through. Uh, anyway, if you don't do it, you'll see that little mark. You want to make sure it's the right rotation, because then you might mess that up, but that little line tells you where the straight is. And there you go. Steering wheel's off. You can change your airbag, change your steering wheel, do an aftermarket one with no airbag. Uh, we changed ours because Dante had damage up on the top, and now we're going to take this off, fix it while we're here. And then that's it, basically. Just retrace your steps and then you've done it. We have fixed the little problem we had. We did that inside. We just basically... Give it a Yankee yank. Give it a Yankee yank, won't come off. Nothing we just happened. basically took off that, that, replaced that bit with a new bit. Yep. Anyway, once you've, what? Oh, you want to shut the door for wind? Once you've decided, oh, I'm going to go with a, like, aftermarket, no airbag kind of steering wheel, if you're into them rices, well, not, well hopefully you're not ricing your cars, you just stick everything on back on through so all those wires go through the little hole at the top and you want to line up your you see this thing this thing spins you want to make sure obviously that's at the top because that's where it's got to go I'm trying to slide everything on through so just quickly move your hand so we're trying to line up this little line here with inside that line there. So that line with that line. And if that they line right? up, we have straight steering wheel. Now that you've lined that up, obviously just put the, the little bolty bolt back in. Make sure it's nice and tight. You don't want your steering wheel to come off mid-drive. Look at the dirty stash. Hey, bro. It's out of focus, but... <laughs> Still out of focus. Mate, the stashes get girls, I'm telling you. He's the one with the girlfriend. I have a stash and no girlfriend. Doesn't work. Uh, before you put the airbag in, you gotta clip this little bad boy back on and down there. I think that's clipped in. Yeah, it won't come out. Let's say it is. It is clipped in. Uh, this little copper bit, I think that's like, I don't know what that actually is. Yeah, so the black one, I'd say that's probably airbag sensor. Or it something just, like that. It just slides into this little copper wire. Obviously, orange to orange, don't be retarded and do it the other way. Blue to blue. So they just should, should just clip in pretty easily. A little here, look here, a little clippy. There we go. And putting the airbag in is as simple as just pushing, and you'll hear it pop. Honk honk. <laughs> there we go. Guys, if you're still here, comment. 
My stash. Come in. Yeah, come in, stash. I don't know why it's just my eyes looking dead. I'm looking in your souls. I'm judging you. We'll just like your parents do. <laughs> we'll see you next video.